All right, what's up, fellas? This is Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback of the Houston Texans and New Orleans Saints, and now I'm coaching you guys up. I play ball at Ohio University Bobcats, okay? It's in Athens, Ohio. So today we're going to uh, continue um, talking about game day prep. So the previous video last week, I think, I was talking about um, just how the game week was in college, right? Given general you know, usually general routine. Now we're going to talk about eating. And I'm going to, I'm going to really, I'm going to really focus on one thing when it comes to what we're going to talk about today. Okay. So as football players, it's very important to know ourselves and know our goals. Okay. So, so you just don't want it because they don't really, especially in college, because you got your training tables, you know, you got your food, you have a good variety, usually, depending on what school you go to. Obviously, if you go to Ohio State, you go to university. Uh, I mean, you go to Texas, you know, shoot, man, you got the best of everything, most likely. And I say the best, I'm just saying a variety of whatever you want. Um, it's very important to get a nutrition plan. Um, I'm going to tell you something about pro athletes, and this is good for high school guys. And this is also, this, we have a, nut a, a pro an actual pro nutritional plan. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, so don't take my word for it. I want you always to research and, and get information and learn as much as possible. Get knowledge. That's key. Uh, but we have that. Me and my boy Billy, we have that in the recruiting program. So that's actually in it. Now, you can – it depends now. It's cool. So you have some guys who need to put on uh, good body mass. Um, you, have, you have guys who need to maintain. And then you have guys who need to lose weight or body fat. And I will tell you this. When I was <laughs> – I think I told you this before. When I played for the Houston Texans, look, again, I'm 5'9". During the season, I'm usually 185 because I'm doing so much running. But usually, like off season, I'm around 195. And my coach, Coach Gibbs – in, uh, at Houston, he did not like me at 195. He's like, Pars, you need to get this. this is at training camp. We just get a training camp. He's like, 195? Man, that's too that's too heavy, man. I want you at 185. I was like, yes, sir. And then he was like, um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you about two days to get down there. Every day after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh find you four hundred dollars for every pound and every day. I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> Four hundred dollars for every pound over would just give y'all, and I, you know, I'm I'm ten pounds over right now, and I'm I'm in really good shape to begin with, so I had to now I had to focus in. Now, if you want to be top of your game, you're gonna have your own personal nutritionist, who at least at least writes this stuff down for you, and to, and has a meal plan. Um, when I was training for the NFL, we had this down in um. We had this down at Prime U. We had our own, uh, the guy, he prepared the meals for us two days out of the week. And this is called investing in yourself. I talk about investing in yourself all the time. So I tell you guys about my programs, right? Invest in yourself. Is it going to cost money? Yeah, but it's worth it. And I talk about nutritionists. You need to at least get somebody to write a plan for you. Is it going to cost money? You daggone right. Right? Uh, joining the gym. Getting the best trainer in your city. You got to invest in yourself. It's the only way that you're going to make it in life. You know, we're not just talking about football. We're talking about period. All right. So um, anyways, man, you, you're talking about I stopped eating after nine. You know, I stopped eating fat foods. And you'll be like, well, you're in the NFL. You're supposed to not be eating like that. Bruh, they, look at this. Look at the meals. They, they provide anything you want. It's up to you to, to, to choose and pick what you want. But they don't get like, oh, here's a. Uh, um, a plan right here. Not nah, in the NFL, you got to do that stuff yourself. And in college, you're going to have to do that stuff yourself. In high school, you're going to So you younger guys, the best thing you can do is really focus in. Because I was watching Ty Lopez. He's a really good guy for you guys to, to, to learn. You learn a lot of principles in a lot of things. Not um, one of them making money, um, fitness. But anyway, he interviews some of the top people in our in our modern history, right? And he interviewed Odell Beckham. And the one he asked Odell Beckham, what is the one thing that you said is responsible for your success right now? And he said, I changed the way I eat. He said, nutrition has been huge for me. And when I heard that, I was like, yo, 
I didn't get that until later. I really didn't. And there's different types of plans depending on what body type you want. You know, uh, you know, are you a cornerback? Are you an offensive lineman? Obviously, there's a certain amount of calorie intake you're gonna have to do. You know, it's different. Are you training for speed? Are you training for power? Are you training for this? Are you training for that? It's, it depends on you and your goals. But I will say this. It's, in, it's very important that you focus and you create a plan. You have to have a plan. That's what I'm helping you guys with. That's why we started this recruiting um, uh, package for you guys. You don't have a plan. You got to have a plan. You got to be focused and you got to have the plan. You got to uh, stick to it. You got to, and, and it's, it's, it's easier said than done. I, I, I totally understand and I get it. All right. But that's what you got to do, man. You got to, you got to plan out your next 18 months. So you should have this written down. These are my goals in the next 18 months. And this is my daily routine of how I'm going to reach it. You have to create that for yourself. You have to have a nutrition plan. You can't just be like, oh, I'm a, I'm, I play for Kansas State, so I'm automatically just going to eat whatever they put out there. Nah, man. Because look, you think that stuff doesn't affect you? I'll give you one example. I'm going to give you a couple examples, actually. Check this out. So my boy, Von Kerry Owens, he ended up being in, he, he has a cool story. He was a JUCO guy, really fast, really strong, play, came in um, his junior year to Ohio, and he's one of my best friends at school. Really funny guy. He's from the SIP, a.k.a. Mississippi. And uh, uh, when he was going in to train for the NFL, he ended up being in a, the Saints minicamp, but he didn't make the team. He ended up playing in Spain, had an awesome time in Spain. You just, I don't want to uh, veer off of what I'm talking about today, but, hey, you guys, just because you don't make it in the NFL or CFL does not mean – that you can't have a really fun career and play pro ball. You get there's pro teams in China now, so really keep your options open. You'll have he had more fun than I did playing pro ball. You you be like what you played in Texas man? Nah, he had more fun playing pro ball in Spain than I did. I'm just letting you know. Um, but back to what I was saying. When he was training, he had an agent. His um his cousin was Karel Buckhalter. I don't know if you guys remember him, but he played running back for the Eagles. He played some good ball, uh, really good athlete. But anyways, he had an agent. His, his cousin got him the agent. And before his pro day, his agent, I remember this. And this is before I had knowledge and wisdom on certain stuff, like nutrition. And his agent was like, hey, make sure you eat a steak before you go to your uh, pro day, before you run your 40 at pro day. Like, um, and he was naturally already a fast guy, but he was like, yeah, make sure you eat a steak. And I was like, you know, that's my personality. I listen to stuff like that. I'm like, steak. Hmm. Oh, okay. I wonder why. And he was like, yeah, because the protein. And that's what I heard him say because he had him on speaker. I was like, okay, well, I guess maybe that it does help you. And then I learned about red meat. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, this is what it looks like. I think this is steak. Then you're like, oh, Mark, don't tell me I can't eat steak. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying this. It shouldn't be a big part of your diet. It should not be a big part of your nutrition. You want to eat steak because you love steak? I get it. But if you're trying to be a super fast guy, because you got to understand something about the human body, okay? Look, number one, you should eat living things. You shouldn't necessarily, dead things shouldn't be a high part of your diet. I'm just telling you, this is, I'm just telling you. You should eat living things. Well, what do you mean living? Yo, plants are living, yo, when you eat them. You're like, what? Yeah, man. Plants, fruit, man, this stuff is living while you, when you eat them. When you eat a steak, man, that's a dead cow. <laughs> like, yo. All right, so that's number one. And I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go more into it. So, look, that's that's one. Number two, check this out. And you do, I want you guys to always look stuff up. Just don't take my word for it. Man, I learned that that meat, that red meat, stays in your system for a long period of time. I forgot what it was called. It was something dealing with the colon. But something dealing with your colon. But, yo, that meat can stay in your body for years. So you got to understand something about the human body. The intestines is long. It's like, I think it's like 26 feet. Don't quote me on it. It's like 24 or 26 feet long. Imagine that. So that red meat, that meat is taking all this time. That's why they tell you about detox and, 
And there's another thing. It's like a colon. I, I don't forgot. I forgot what it was called. But anyways, it's like when they <laughs> they shoot water up your your butt, basically to flush your system out. I've never done it. I don't think I'm probably ever <laughs> going to do that. But understand what they do. So look, that stuff stays in your system for years. And and a lot of people end up getting like colon cancer and different stuff. And I'm not getting into that right now. But I'm saying that stuff weighs on you. Like people who get their system flushed out lose like basically feel lighter. The body actually lose pounds. It's incredible. So if I'm going to run, and I'm going to go into more in depth than that, but if I'm going to run a 40-yard dash and, I, and my agent tells me to eat a steak before the game or before the 40-yard dash, before the pro day to combine, that's not really smart, man. I want my system nice and fresh and flush and, and, and full of energy, not like being tired. Like red meat causes inflammation in your body. Like look this stuff up, man. So you have to be a person who is constantly learning. You have to be a person who looks this stuff up, all right? You just can't take somebody's word for it. You can't take my word for it, A, because I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just telling you from my experience and from what I learned. Um, but you can't just listen to your agent because the agent says this. You have to do the research yourself. You have to be a person who seeks knowledge, and it's going to help you out a lot. Um, uh, you know, you... Obviously, you should be, and this is sim this is simple stuff. You should be eating m way more greens, like kale, you know, um, spinach, broccoli, stuff like that, man. Your fruit, dark fruit that has high antioxidants. This is very important. Vitamin D, you know. So, like, people are like, well, hey, Mark. So, how are you gonna get your protein? Do you guys realize that you don't really you you think you're getting your protein from the meat? You're really not. You're actually because look, you're actually getting the protein from what the cow ate. What does the cow eat? Did you know that? You get it You get it from what they eat, which comes from plants. You get the protein from the plants. It just happens to be in the cow. Like they were talking about omega-3s. And I just learned this, yo. You don't get, you're like, okay, what about my fish oils? I need to get my fish oils, my omega-3. Bruh, that comes from the plankton that they eat. They, that comes from what they eat. You understand? So once you just skip the middleman and just get go right to it, eat the kale. Kale is extremely healthy for cats. But remember, you have to stay limber. You have to have high energy to be a top performance in this in this game. Um, and you have to be lean. You have to be strong. You have to be fast and quick. All right. Now understand this. I have a German Shepherd. My German Shepherd is huge right now. She's about over two years old. Her name is Zuri. So big black German Shepherd. I learned this about, so some people have allergies, right? Well, you, you, you just say, oh, I'm born with allergies and this is how it's going to be. Bruh, your eating habits have something to do with that too. So my, my dog, I learned more and more about this. Basically, all right, you have carnivores, omnivores, and herb, herbivores. So herb, uh, carnivore, you look at their teeth. Like my German Shepherd, she's a carnivore. We feed her raw meat. She's on the barf diet. She had allergies. She was scratching like crazy, literally scratching her fur off when we first got her. We're like, what? Went to the breeder. They said, look, how you eat? How you feeding her? We fed her all oh, this dog food. It's kibble. They're like, what? I said, well, it's the most expensive brand, you know, um, grain free, all that. They said, bro, how was she eating the wild? Because they come from wolves, right? Dogs come from wolves. How would they eat in the wild? They eat probably small animals. Ding, ding, ding. They need to eat raw meat. They need to have bone. They need to have uh, organs and stuff. So we changed her diet. Man, she's lean. She's, um, she, the allergies left. It's incredible. So I was like, okay, she's a carnivore, right? Then you got omnivore. Obviously, they eat both. Now, a lot of people think we're omnivores, right? But herbivores. So that's really what we are because we look at our teeth. Look at our teeth and then compare, compare. Our bodies, our intestines are really long. So that's why the meat takes for so long to get through there. And then we're heavy and blogged down and inflammation sets in, right? But check this out. Look at a lion's uh, intestine. And I, a lion is a a uh, carnivore. A lion is a carnivore. It's only like five feet long, so they don't have to be concerned about eating raw meat. Why? Because it gets out of their system really fast. So this is the type of knowledge that you have to accrue. accrue okay? Get smarter. If you know, if you knew better, you do better. Remember that. So I just want to tell you that you don't want to eat super heavy. You don't want to eat red meat right before the game. You know what I'm saying? Right before your 40-yard dash. You want to eat healthy, okay? If you have any questions, email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. I have a little nutrition, a little information in my programs. 
Let's get better today. Peace.